State Line residents are keeping us up to date with stories of survival from family and friends in Ukraine. Rachel Perry talked to a man who spent time living and studying in Ukraine. And Rachel, he tells you his friends and teachers are doing their best to stay safe. That's right, Mimi and Eric. One thing he wants to point out, though, is how the country has united during this time, saying families in Ukraine are working together, showing immense pride and support for their home. Ukrainian people are, are people that are, are um, united as well as uh, smart, and, and they're defending their freedom. Stories of survival as Russia continues the attack on Ukraine. Joey Clapp lived and studied in Kyiv for two years, leaving during the 2014 violent protests before the Ukrainian Revolution. Now he's sharing the stories of his friends currently fleeing the city. There are former teachers of ours that are hunkering in metro stations, um, just you know, uh, hoping to avoid bombs. Um, and then we also have friends from the east, from Kharkiv, um, that they they have they're trying to make their way all the way over to Poland. So that's a that's a very long trip. With their car nearly out of fuel, he says his friends made it to Poland, but now face a bigger challenge. They don't have the uh, the proper documentation to be able to leave the country, and so they're hoping that um, they'll they'll be granted some, some sort of refugee status when they get to um, the front of the line. Despite the hardships, Joey says Ukrainians are working smart and efficiently putting up a strong fight against Russian troops. Russia thought that they were going to come in and in a few hours um, invade and occupy Ukraine. Um, and yet, we're, what are we on, day five or six? And we're, we're still um, seeing Ukraine resist that, that invasion. Some residents are fleeing the city. <laughs> Many are fighting back. And others are seeking shelter in their basements. Sitting back and not being able to help isn't easy for Joey. You know, our friends are literally free, fleeing for their lives, um, hiding from, from Russian military, um, and, and yet we're so comfortable here. Joey says it's important to remember not all Russians agree with the invasion. He asks everyone to be kind and keep Ukraine in their thoughts and prayers. Eric?